Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this short message where I'm going to update you with our real estate market here in the greater Toronto area. And the first table that I would like to show you is this here, which encompasses all of the greater Toronto area, all sales that are reported on the MLS. We have sales, active listings, months of inventory, average price and days on market from January through to June 2020. So we can see here that the number of sales was increasing in the beginning portion of the year. And then of course, in the middle of March is when COVID got somewhat severe. And then we noticed there was a drop in the number of sales, which of course now has led to a significant increase. We very often see that the number of sales is higher in May than it is in June. But now this year, we can see that in May, there was only 4,606 sales, whereas June, there was an 88.9% increase with 8,701 sales. Similarly with active listings, usually in the months of April and May, there are significantly more. And we can see from May to June, there was a 22.3% increase in the number of active listings. However, this increase in active listings doesn't necessarily offset the volume of sales. Of course, there was an 89% increase with sales, only a 22% increase in active listings, which leads to a lower months of inventory. We only have a 1.6 months of inventory in June 2020, which in essence means it's more of a seller's market. It's ideal for sellers. Those times when bidding wars were happening, homes were selling over asking is back for the most part. 1.6 months of inventory naturally just makes it less hard for buyers. And then let's take a look at the average price. We can see here that uh, the highest month in terms of the average price was June 2020 at nine hundred and thirty one thousand which was a seven point eight percent increase from May 2020. And if we look back previously in the year, just prior to COVID getting severe, in February, the average price was 910,000. And we thought that was high. So now obviously it's better if you're looking to sell. Again, it's a great time. Call me, you'll be very happy with the price that you get for your home. And then let's take a look at the days on market. Again, a very strong indicator that the market is ideal for sellers. Only 18 days on market in June, 2020. And what I would say I'm noticing in the marketplace right now is not only is the days on market lower for some of the lower priced homes, but even homes that are listed over a million dollars, which is typically a different type of market and there's different type of buyers. Over there, we're seeing that homes are being sold relatively quickly. If the home is priced right, it shows well and you have a great agent, then don't be surprised if the home sells in a couple of weeks. All right, let's take a look at this next image here, which shows the difference between June 2020 and June 2019. Of course, this doesn't tell the whole story because it's not encompassing everything from January up to June, like the first half of the year, but it's just looking at June 2020 in comparison to 2019. So there was a 1.8% decrease in the volume of sales, which arguably means the market is quite similar to what it was last year in terms of the number of buyers out there and the number of sellers looking to sell their home. But take a look at this the average price is up by almost 12% with an average price at 931,000 now and only 833,000 last year. And here, this is a really important statistic. It's the months of inventory. It's something that agents are always paying attention to so we can properly advise to our sellers whether it's a good time to sell or whether it's a good time just to wait. And we can see here that the months of inventory has dropped significantly. We're down to 1.6. And again, this is a good indicator that the market is better for sellers now than it was a couple of months ago. You can see the other lines here display the information in 2019, 2018, and 2017, which of course everybody remembers in that 2017, the market was very strong and then naturally the months of inventory increased as it became more of a buyer's market after April 2017. 17 when the laws were changed somewhat. And then in 2018 and 2019, it was somewhat stable compared again to the highs and lows from 2017 and 2020. And so yes, it looks like the market is very strong and it's better for sellers in the fact that they can sell for a great price in a very short amount of time with the least amount of stress. But take a look at this as this dives a little bit deeper into the different styles of homes. So you can see here that the detached market, the months of inventory is 1.6. The semi-detached market, 0.9 months of inventory, townhouses one, condo townhouses one, and condo apartments 2.4. So in essence, this means that the market is best for sellers who have semi-detached homes and is worse for those who have a condo apartment that they're selling, which naturally means that it's better for buyers to buy a condo apartment than it is a semi-detached home. Now, why is this happening? Well, most people can afford a semi-detached home or a condo apartment, but the key difference between the two is what's happened with COVID. 
Due to some of the restrictions that have taken place, it's a lot less convenient to go out looking at a condo unit that's up for sale. Of course, some of the buildings have actually had COVID, so buyers didn't want to obviously go take a look at some of the units over there, which is just a different market in the sense that the past few years, we've always been used to condos going up in value and up in value, and with our detached market, either stable or decreasing, but not now. I hope you found this information helpful. The kindest way you can pay me a compliment is by sending me a referral. If there's anyone you know that's thinking of selling or buying, then call me, call me, call me. My number is 416 Seven one five two and eight. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't. I post videos bi-weekly and I really appreciate your feedback. If you'd be so kind to leave me a comment and give the video a like and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.